Hey guys, what's going on today? So today I want to walk you through something really cool that you can use in your personal social media pages or on business pages or just for fun you can create some of these things. And what these are is these are what I would call branded QR codes. And so QR codes are actually very popular with businesses or if you go to supermarkets, they sometimes have a QR code you can scan that'll tell you the recipe and, and all that stuff behind it. But how cool is it that you can actually go ahead and brand your QR code as you want? So this is my Facebook QR code, this is my Instagram, YouTube, and then this is my in development web page that will be coming out probably in the next month or two. But at the end of the day, it's pretty cool to actually be able to go ahead and put a brand in there. So you can put a logo, you can put whatever you want, and the QR codes work. So let me show you how this works. All right, so we have our four. We're gonna start off with QR code scanning my Instagram page. And so as you hit OK, it's gonna take you to the AI Warriors Instagram page. So let's do the next one now. And we'll do the Facebook. And when you hit go, it takes you to the Facebook AI Warriors page. And then now we're gonna do my YouTube page. So there you go, take you to my YouTube page. And then finally, we're gonna do my website that's still in development. And it takes you to satsegel.com. So that's how this works. All right, again, and think about you know branding here. This is a great branding um, tool that you can use. You can put these on business cards, your own web page, um, promotional material, whatever you want. You can use that kind of stuff on here. So this is a really cool way to do it. So let's go through the Python code. The one thing I'll tell you is that I got this code off of a website. I modified it slightly, so I am going to link that website below just to give that person credit. So let's go ahead and go through the Python code. It's actually a very straightforward and simple code. Nothing super complicated here. You are going to go ahead and import something called QR code, which is a module within pip. You can just do pip install QR code. Um, you're also going to import pill. So if you don't have pillow, install pillow, pip install pillow. And then what you're gonna do is, I just have a little directory set up here. So let me open that up. And in the directory here, scroll this over, I have the pictures that I want. So this is, for example, my picture that I've got for my QR code that goes onto here. Um, I've also got my YouTube logo. Let me just close all these out. I've also got my YouTube logo here. Um, and I've got my Facebook logo and so forth. So what you're first going to do is you're going to say go ahead and open the image that you want to superimpose or the logo that you want to use. You then can go ahead and put something called a base width and that is if I were to look at the logo picture, so let's just open one up again here. So the width that I want here is 75. And so if this picture is for example not a perfect square, it'll just take 75 and then it'll keep the aspect ratio by using this little algorithm here, this little function here. And all we're saying is go ahead and take the base, base width, uh, divide it by the logo size. Um, so if I were to go ahead and, for example, change this. So let's look at this live right now. So if I were to change this to 150 and rerun this code, this is what that picture would look like. So you saw how small it was before. Now you see how big it is. And if I turn this back to 75, you will go ahead and also notice that it is shrunk again. Now the one thing to keep in mind is you can play around with that number. If this picture gets too big, it starts messing up this QR code and it doesn't scan properly. It takes a really long time to scan. So I just kept it at this. 75 work seems seems to work fairly good, as you saw with, uh, with these. So that's what that is for. Uh, this is all resizing the logo. And then in here, you need to go ahead and add in your website or whatever you want to use. And while I am talking to you about my website, I also do want to go ahead and bring up the host that I use, and that is netfirms.com. I've been with netfirms for a few years now. Uh, I like them quite a bit. They've gotten a lot better over the last couple of years. So if you're interested, link in, link in the description, take a look and sign up with them. You can go ahead and put whatever color you want in your background. That's, that's a color of a QR code. This is gonna be the color of your background. And then this is what you wanna output at. So really all you need to do is change in this code is your input picture. You need to change your website or whatever you wanna put it as, play around with your base width, play around with your colors, and then an output file name. And that's it. Once you edit that, it'll start generating your QR code. And again, large applicability, especially for businesses, small YouTubers, big YouTubers, big businesses, small businesses, really cool stuff that you can do with this. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thank you.